Hi again. If you've seen our last videos, you now know what both AI and generative AI are, the difference between OpenAI and Microsoft, and the generative AI tools they've recently launched. In this video, we will go deeper into the opportunities there are for AI to improve education. First off, AI will accelerate learning for students by being able to engage learners through interactive and creative experiences with real-time feedback, providing the means to analyze data more efficiently, which delivers actionable insights for educators to reference towards student performances, and unlocking the ability to provide personalized learning based on different students' individual needs with tailored content and targeted coaching. Additionally, AI will empower education to be more inclusive, as features like translation, captioning, read aloud, and voice input all improve accessibility. For teachers with incredibly busy schedules, AI can help improve efficiency as it can help create and customize content for lesson plans, quizzes, rubrics, in any language, for any level. Lastly, for students and teachers, AI is not going away anytime soon, so it's vital to teach everyone AI literacy. And what better way to help them learn than actually practicing by using AI? We actually use a lot of AI to make our learning accelerators so great. Here are some examples. In reading progress, AI is used to analyze the audio and video recordings of students reading aloud and provide feedback on their reading fluency, accuracy, rate, expression, and comprehension. AI can also help identify common errors such as mispronunciations, hesitations, repetitions, and omissions, and suggest ways to improve them. This can help students with different reading abilities and learning differences to practice and improve their reading skills in a personalized and supportive way. Next up in Reading Coach, AI is used to generate reading exercises based on the level and interest of each student and provide guidance on how to read words correctly, break them into syllables, adjust the reading speed, and recall the vocabulary. AI can also help access the student's reading progress and confidence and offer encouragement and rewards. This can help students with different reading preferences and challenges to engage and enjoy reading more. In Search Coach, AI is used to help students learn how to form effective search queries, find reliable sources of information, and evaluate the quality and relevance of their search results. AI can also help filter out inappropriate or misleading content and provide ratings and labels for the trustworthiness and transparency of different websites. This can help students with different literacy skills and backgrounds to access and use online information more critically and responsibly. With Search Progress, AI is used to help teachers track the development and information literacy skills among their students by creating a dashboard that shows their search activity and behaviors over time. AI can also help identify areas for improvement, such as refining search terms, narrowing or broadening the scope, and using advanced filters. This can help teachers provide differentiated instruction and feedback to students with different learning needs and goals. For Speaker Coach, AI is used to help students improve their public speaking skills by evaluating their performance on key aspects such as pitch, volume, pace, filler words, pauses, and eye contact. AI can also provide real-time feedback and suggestions on how to enhance the delivery and engagement with the audience. This can help students with different speaking abilities and confidence levels to practice and polish their presentation skills in a private and constructive way. Lastly, with Reflect, AI is used to help students identify and express how they feel in safe and fun ways by using a chatbot that asks them how they feel and why. AI can also help generate a personalized emoji that represents their mood and provide resources and tips on how to cope with different emotions. This can help students with different emotional states and experiences to develop their social emotional skills and well-being. Thanks so much for watching this video series. If you watched all three videos, you should understand AI and generative AI at a high level, the difference between Microsoft and OpenAI, and how you can use AI to improve education.